Hi, I'm Bree. I was not going to film this video, but it's Vlogmas, and I was talking to my little sister, and my little sister suggested that I bring back car confessionals, and I don't feel like I've done car confessionals in two years, almost. Get your blunt, get your Starbucks, get your tea, because I'm about to tell you some very relatable shit. <laughs> This is a video that needs to be made because I already know what I'm going through is very relatable and I'm not gonna do myself a disservice of like being in my feelings and like feeling bad about myself when I could come on here and I could talk to my family, you know, my community. And I was thinking about it when I was on my way to Starbucks. I was like, damn, like I kind of hate being a YouTuber because I could feel one way on Monday and then by Wednesday, I feel a totally different way. Now I look like a fucking hypocrite. Now I look crazy. You're not a real person. You're fake as fuck. But in real life, I'm just going through the motions of being a 20 something. I'm really just trying to like figure out being in a Adult, and not just being an adult but being a woman and not just being a woman but being like a black woman so yesterday I made a video I wanted to have the conversation with you guys about you know the pros and cons of hooking up with somebody on a first date because I've had good experiences with hooking up with people on a first date and I've had shitty experiences hooking up with people on a first date now what I'm gonna talk to you guys about would be a shitty experience okay he really invited me over the there got what he wanted and then thought that it would be okay to just stop talking to me I will say this to be brutally honest he knew I was mad he texted me in the morning and then I took like seven hours to text him back so in real life we could just be having like a petty Olympics who gonna text first who gonna double text first it could be that or it could just be he simply don't give a fuck and I feel like it's fucking with my ego so bad because I'm not a little ass girl I really want to get on camera to talk to you guys about how I really hate being a female there's nothing I can do about it I can't change it. It is what it is. Like, I'm a girl. I'm always gonna be a girl. I'm gonna die a girl. I'm a woman. And it's crazy because I'm tired of being treated like I'm not a human being. Like, I don't matter. I'm tired of being treated like I'm disposable. You didn't say, let me stop this girl because I've already Tara. heard Tara. You know Tara. Then stop. You didn't stop. Listen, I'm You doing did it. not stop. I'm whatever it you takes. did not stop. I was thinking about it when I was coming to Starbucks. I was like, bitch, I am like on the verge of being that lady from a thin line between love and hate. I cannot be hurt. It would not be good for me to be hurt. And I think it's because like I'm very, very loving, even with some sneaky link shit. I don't go into the sneaky link situation with ill intentions. I don't link up with somebody or start fucking with somebody and I'm instantly thinking to myself like, oh, I can't wait to replace them with a better option. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't intentionally put people in competitive positions. I enjoy my time with people and when that time is up, that time is up. But I'm not finna intentionally play with somebody or make them feel disposable because that's not how I would want somebody to treat me and that's not how I'm set up. It's getting to a point, you guys, I'm starting to not believe in love. I don't want to cry. I feel like I am gonna cry. I feel like guys make it impossible for love to exist. This is my experience. I really don't care if somebody gets in the comments and they're like, oh, girls do too. I don't give a fuck. I am a woman. I experience life as a woman, okay? And I don't, and, I, and, and, and look, I feel like I need to say this too. I experience life as Brianna fucking Lay. I don't experience life as all you other bitches. I don't. I feel like somebody needs, I feel like I needed to say that. That's number one. Number two, I have been isolating myself because I'm afraid of getting played. I'm afraid of looking stupid. I do look stupid right now. I feel like I look stupid right now. And in real life, when I texted him yesterday and I didn't get a response, still haven't got a response to this morning, I just took my L. I started, you know, writing about it in my prayer journal. And now I'm sitting here talking to y'all. I'm not finna make a fool out of myself, bitch. I already know what it is. I peep game. You got me, bro. You got, you got the coochie, bro. You won. And you know what? else anybody that's watching this and you know they kind of like oh ha 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 that's what you get for not choosing me oh ha 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 that's why you getting played because you don't want to be with me bitch it was never gonna be you i tell you that right now i will get played a million times by a million different new guys before i go to somebody from my past just period i'm sorry because i feel like if i hooked up with somebody from my past and then they did this shit 
bitch, I would be ready to go to jail. At least with somebody new, I could take my L with grace because it's like, oh, you know, we don't owe each other anything. I don't know that person like that. But when you fuck with somebody from your past and they was on your dick and then they try to play you, that's totally different because then, I don't know, it just made me feel like you want to get a restraining order against me, honestly. The way I see it is like, if you dealing with other girls, cool. If you didn't really like me like that, cool. If you got what you wanted, cool. I just feel like it's a way that we can respect each other as human beings and I feel like I'm not getting respect as a human being. I feel like when I was ugly or when I thought that I was ugly, I thought that being pretty would solve all my problems. This is probably gonna sound so fucking immature and I've never said this like out my mouth to people that are not directly related to me, okay? I literally used to think, oh, if I was pretty, if I got my hair done all the time, if I bought $500 shoes, if I did this, if I did that, if I have this bag, if I do this, guys will like me. No, they won't. No, the fuck they won't. No, they won't. And I wish that I was lying and I wish that I was, you know, joking or coming from a place of like being bitter. I am being so real to you, bitch. I used to be fairly unattractive. My family never got my fucking hair done. I never had like the newest shoes, the newest clothes. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't until I became a grown up that I started to have my glow up because I started to like invest in myself and stuff like that. I don't want to say they get mad at me, but guys feel some type of way because, you know, I got all these subscribers on YouTube that be scaring the niggas off success scares the guys off I promise you I promise you like girl my dating life sucks like now that I hit this blunt and I literally hit the blunt one time I was just like I'm not gonna sit up here and cry like because I saw a tweet and this girl was saying every guy that I talk to like they leave me without taking the time to really get to know me bitch I feel the same way I feel the same way like people just see how I look and then when I start to talk how I talk and how I think doesn't match how I look. I don't know what guys want because guys don't know what they want. Guys get what they want and then they don't like it or they feel like they could get something better. And I just feel like I'm starting to think that love doesn't exist because when we look at our grandmother's generation, I just feel like every generation, like the name of generation where men and women were genuinely fucking happy. Our grandmothers had to deal with our grandpas starting completely other families and just taking care of both families. Like our grandmas had to turn the other cheek, stop acting like they didn't. You know what I'm saying and like their grandmas like for centuries and centuries and centuries women have been used to pretty much breed and be like caregivers we haven't been like acknowledged as human beings and then like clearly we can acknowledge each other as human beings but we're mean to each other but that's a whole fucking other topic I don't even really want to get into cuz I'm only gonna be alive for what 70 80 years max I'm not really gonna change shit I'm just saying guys don't see me as a human being and that bothers me that bothers me cuz I'm a cool ass I'm cool as fuck bro you ain't gotta do that weird shit with me you don't i'm the kind of person you could tell me i'm cheating i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm not gonna give a fuck because then i have the option to choose what i want to do if you telling me you cheated with so 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 first of all ain't nobody even gonna tell you straight up that they're cheating unless you already fucked with him you know what i'm saying like if you already got a history with him and then y'all link up after six months and you like oh you got a girlfriend you cheated then most likely but if you are in a situation like me where you hooked up with the person one time he don't owe you that information and you're not gonna get it it's just fucked up because i see things from both sides like i see it from the guy's perspective and i see it from a woman's perspective i'm gonna be real with y'all i don't want to play mind games i don't want to be put in competitive positions if we're gonna do the fake boyfriend fake girlfriend thing i mean let's do that why do guys have to make everything so complicated so stressful boys only want love if it's torture they fuck up the vibe Guys be fucking up the vibe, bro. I'm sorry, they do. If you want to be a sneaky link, I'm cool with that. I be it's crazy like they don't even give me a chance they don't even give me a chance it's crazy another thing that's crazy too guys do stuff like hook up with you don't talk to you for two weeks and they sleep good as fuck at night I mean they sleep good as fuck because they done did it to like six other girls what make you so special what make you so different what you gonna do you gonna double text me what you gonna do block me everything that we do to them is so predictable everything is so fucked up it's like guys have a cheat code on us and meanwhile what do we know about them what do we know 
about them except for the fact that they're compulsive fucking liars and that they will lie unprovoked for no reason and that they will live double lives for no fucking reason like what do we really know about guys you know what i'm thinking about it it could be two things this could be karma because my father's a whore number one number two this could be a curse because i grew up without a daddy but i know girls with daddies that be getting played too so what's the real tea what's the real tea we all get treated the same i saw a tiktok last night some girl was saying like guys are complaining about how nobody wants to be a wife and everybody acting like hoes and it's like yeah because women see how you treat your wives so nobody want to be a wife nobody want to be at home you know taking care of kids paying bills and your man just living his best life like nobody wants to feel like that you know i'm sitting here and i'm talking to you guys i'm like why am i complaining about this because literally nothing's gonna change i feel like the only people that care to change are the women like we go to boot camps we take classes women actually do work even pick me bitches they do work to get themselves together to get themselves prepared for a mate or to at least be a decent kind of mate and don't get me wrong i'm a girl i know some bitches are fucked up i know some bitches you know they only present themselves a certain way so they could trap a guy i know i'm a girl you feel me i'm not gonna sit up here and act like all of us are so fucking perfect but i'm talking about myself i'm not perfect but i know that um i'm a good partner you feel me like i'm a good partner and I feel like they not even giving me a chance to get to know me, bruh. I don't even understand why be on that fake shit. I don't even understand that. Like, I don't even understand that. And then that's why guys be on Twitter talking about, oh, all y'all think y'all good women. Bro, you didn't even give me a chance. Actually, shut the fuck up. Shut up right now. Shut up, you punk bitch. You didn't give me the chance. You actually don't know if I'm a good woman or not because you didn't give me the chance. I spent literally two years on the internet crying over my ex. I'm just trying to figure out what are the other girls doing that I'm not doing? Because these bitches is getting at least fake relationships. I'm down for a fake relationship. No funny shit, like no funny shit. Like if I have a fake relationship, I could focus on my career, I could focus on my bag. I could use other men on the side because you just my favorite. Can a bitch get a favorite? And it's funny too because I'm Christian and I know how God is because I pray to God. I've developed a relationship with God. God is not gonna let me be in something that's fake or something that doesn't serve me or something that's temporary. That's not how God is. And I'm sitting up here and I'm complaining to y'all and I'm like, why, why, why? Oh my God, they don't give me a chance. Bitch, where you're going in life, these guys couldn't even fucking hang. Like, it's crazy, you guys. Like, that's why I said sometimes I hate being a YouTuber. I'll really be venting and in real life, I can see what I'm talking about from so many different perspectives, but I'm still human. I think that's what bothers me the most. I'm fucking human, bro. Cause let me tell you something. The guy that hooked up with me the other day and it made me leave, basically my 13th reason, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The guy that inspired this video, I went in his bathroom to pee. Bitch, I saw a pink shower cap and a green thong on the door hook. Because you know how like sometimes when you close the door in the bathroom, it's like a hook and you can put your robes there and everything. When I got done washing my hands, I walked up to that shit and I had my glasses on and I moved the pink shower cap because he had braids. And I know boys be wearing bonnets, so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. But definitely, definitely that was a green thong. And I don't think he wearing thongs. And I remember when I pulled up to his house, I was like oh you know i was at the beach i kind of want to bathe like i should have went home and took a shower and i said let me take a bath you know like let me get in the shower right quick and he was like oh i don't know if you could do that like i don't know if you could bathe at my house and then i go in the bathroom and i see a fucking green thong that's what i'm saying i really don't know why i'm tripping in real life i really don't know on a scale of one to ten the d was like a six it was to the point i was borderline missing my ex i was like yo like when am i gonna link with somebody that knows what they're doing like i'm not about to give somebody a hundred percent of the coochie when i'm trying to see what you doing but it was definitely giving like a six out of ten which is another reason why i've been so conflicted i think honestly at the end of this video he didn't kiss my ass he didn't stroke my ego and every guy that i add to my roster especially because i used to be a sugar baby has to kiss my ass and has to stroke my ego the thing about me choosing not to be a sugar baby anymore and like actually like start dating i'm expecting these guys to treat me like my sugar daddies because it's like i'm choosing to be with you for real like you don't have to pay me i actually genuinely like you no this dl nigga is not bitch this nigga right here is so dl oh my god i'm going to completely stop what i was talking about and tell you guys what's going on right now i'm sorry you guys probably think i have adhd but i cannot believe he's doing this and the girl is not cute oh my god okay this guy i don't even i can't even explain it i know he's dl 
I can't even explain it. Just like I've seen him in the parking lot for at least 10 to 8 minutes by himself. He is by. Look at how he walked away. First of all, bitch, he is fine as fuck. And you are in jeggings. This bitch cannot be serious. This nigga is like literally an 8 to a 10. He's attractive. This other bitch hair not done and she's in jeggings. That is like a, a telltale sign that he is DL. I can't believe this shit happened in my face. <laughs> And you know I'm gonna keep it in the video. This has nothing to do with what the fuck I've been talking about. But I'm gonna keep this in the video because I can't believe this shit happened in my face. Like, he really sashayed his ass over there. Girl, my camera is finna die. And at the end of the day, maybe I'm a narcissist. Maybe I made this whole video because I don't like people that do not kiss my ass. And I will not tolerate my ass not being kissed. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm a narcissist. <laughs> You know what? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, bitch. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Support your girl. My camera's literally gonna die. So get those fingers moving in the comments below and tell me what you guys feel about this tea. I wanna know. With that being said, I love you guys, man. I can't believe I'm really doing this daily vlog. You know what? Let me go home. I have so many videos I need to edit. I love you. To be honest, I'll probably see you tomorrow anyway, bitch. I'm on a roll. Till next time.